This is a guide on how to use Highlight.js with Markdown. This is a website that I made to display a Markdown file which contains code blocks. Though the code blocks look alright because of the CSS styling, it's still missing code syntax in which is vital for making code look good and readable. This is where Highlight.js comes in. Highlight.js is a library that allows you to add code syntax in with high customizability and a lot of different ways to add it to your project. For this project, we'll be using it with Markdown by displaying a separate Markdown file to the homepage of the website. Firstly, we need to make the website in order to understand how to add Highlight.js to it. I'm using Next.js for this, so you want to start with npx create next app TypeScript and then the project name, and then CD project name, and then npm run dev, and you should see this when going to the localhost. Next, go to pages slash index.tsx and below the imports already there, add these imports. FS is for the file system, which you will need later for reading the markdown file. Matter will need to be installed through the terminal by entering npm install gray matter. Matter separates the markdown file into its metadata and the actual content and then puts the two in separate variables. Marked will need to be installed through the terminal by entering npm install marked. Marked is the library that compiles markdown to html. Lastly, highlight.js will also have to be installed through the terminal by entering npm install highlight.js. Then add your markdown file to the pages folder and I'm going to be calling it page Page.markdown. Make sure the file has metadata at the top of the page, such as title and description, like this. Go to your index.tsx file and code the getStack props. This is the part where we'll be adding highlight.js into later. Then add the next part of code, which will get the getStack props properties and display it. Now, in localhost, you should see the markdown file without code syntax in. To add highlight.js to this site, you go back to the getStack props part of the code and go to HTML marked content. With marked, you can add another parameter for options, so we'll add the highlight as the second parameter using this code. Highlight has three parameters in the function which is code, lang, and callback. For this example, we'll only be using code and lang. Next, add this line into the highlight function. Now your get study props return should look like this. If we look at the localhost now, it will still look the same as before, but if we inspect the page, the code is now in groups. This is because we need to import a style. You can find all the styles on the highlight.js website. Once you pick a theme you like, you can add the theme by adding an import to the top of your index.tsx page. In this example, I'll be using VS 2015. And now your code block should have code syntax in. Thanks for watching and make sure to like and subscribe.